So the old answer of what happens if you jump into a black hole is you go to the end of time. That's this pure Einstein, right? You just so you, you get spaghettified on your way to the end of time, which means you get squat, stretched infinitely, actually, and then squashed, and, and you so all you, you get dissociated into a train of atoms, and then everything goes to the end of time. But now we think, actually, no, even black holes don't destroy information. So it turns out that now we think, and this is very 2022 papers, right? If you, if you, if you jumped into a black hole, then we do think that if a super being in the far future could collect every bit of Hawking radiation that was came off the black hole for trillions and trillions of years and stick it into a giant quantum computer, then they could reconstruct everything that fell in. So actually, in some sense, you come out. Stephen Hawking had a bet with John Preskill about this. So, uh, and it was, I, I can't remember, I think it was the 90s when he conceded the bet. Uh, it might have been the late 80s. But he, so he had a bet, and the bet was that Black, Stephen's calculation initially from the 70s said that black holes destroy information. And so he thought that was true for a long time. And, and he had a bet with John Preskill, and it turned out that the bet was a, a set of encyclopedias. So whoever lost the bet would have to give the other one a set of encyclopedias. And uh, John Preskill asked for baseball encyclopedias. And uh, because of some work by someone called Maldacena, actually, ultimately, Stephen said, no, you, no, they, they don't destroy information. The information comes out. It's conserved. So he conceded the bet and gave John Preskill the encyclopedias. He said, what I should have done is I should have burnt the encyclopedias and given him the ashes. Because <laughs> <laughs> all the information is still there. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah.